So now that you've created your course and you've added posts, and you're ready to share it with your students. Um, this video is going to show you how to publish your course and, and share it so that students are able to find it. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. We're going to go ahead and click on this, uh, the iTunes U icon, the, the graduation cap up here, to go back to the uh, front page of Course Manager. If I put the cursor over my course, you can see down here there's a button that says Share. If we click on that, it gives us two important pieces of information. One is this enroll code, and one is a shortcut link. What I recommend is posting this link somewhere that your students can find it, like on your class homework page, or if you have their email addresses, you can email uh, this course link to your students. And what happens is, um, as long as they have the iTunes U app downloaded on their device, uh, this link will take them right to your course, and it'll give them the opportunity to enroll in the course. At the same time, they could go into iTunes U directly without this link, and then there's an opportunity to enroll, and they would type in this enroll code uh, in order to get into your course. Let me show you what those look like. Here we go. We will go back into the iTunes U app on our iPad. Or this is what the student would do. Um, and then you can see here is a catalog button, and what that does is that takes them to the iTunes U course catalog where they can see all of the different courses that are publicly available. And in order to enroll in your course, I'm going to show you first how to do it with the enrollment code. Um, they would scroll down here to the bottom, and then you can see the enroll button down here. You would select that. It's going to ask for their password. Let me move this down so you guys can't see my password. And then I can type in here the enrollment code that we saw previously. H-X-Z-T-N-S-A-Q-E. And then up here I will hit the next button. Request enrollment. Now because it's a private course, it's not publicly available yet, what happens is the students have to request access to your course. And you might like this if you want to keep your course limited to just your current students and you don't want people from all over the world to have access to your course. Although it is kind of cool when you log in and you look and you can see that you know, people from New Zealand and, and China and all over the place are downloading your, your information. I have you know a course with 1,200 people in it and I don't have 1,200 students so it's it's kind of a neat experience to know that you're connecting globally, but if you're not ready for that yet, uh, this is the way you would do it. You'd leave the setting this way. By default, it's a private course, um, so don't stress out about that. It would never accidentally happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click this Request Enrollment button. This is what a student would do. And then they will see this. And your, requ your enrollment requires uh, approval from the instructor. You can see as the instructor also I just got an email letting me know that someone requested an enrollment. So when you do this and your students request an enrollment, you'll get an email notifying you. I'll go ahead and hit OK. So that's what the student will see. Now as an instructor, you will see um, in your course two different things, two different ways to see it. One is if we go back to the uh, front page of Course Manager, you can see right here where it says students, there's a, this uh, badge that uh, lets you know that there's a student who's requested enrollment. You can click on this button to get there or if you are already in your, your course, you would click on this button here with the different people on the icon. And this shows you, you can select here to approve, let me just scoot this out a little bit so it's easier to see, um, this green check button will allow you to approve that enrollment. So I'll click that. Um, you could turn off enroll new requests, for example. Say all, you, you, all of your students are in the course, you don't want more students requesting enrollment. You could slide this off and, and that would take care of that. Um, you also have the option of blocking requests for enrollment, things like this. If I look back over here, I can see uh, the number of requests is currently zero and the number enrolled. And then here you can see the students that are currently enrolled in your course. And then you also have the option of, let 
me scoot this out a little bit. I apologize that the window isn't displaying perfectly. Uh, if you put your cursor over here, you can hit this X button and it would uh, unenroll people from your course. So this is how um, you, you as the teacher would be able to control the enrollments and control who is in your course and who isn't. Now if the students clicked on the link that I showed you earlier, this link here, if you posted it somewhere for them to click, click on it, the process is, this, is, is actually a little bit shorter. It, it would automatically open iTunes U for them and automatically prompt them with that window that says request enrollment. Um, so it, it saves them a little bit of work, but it might be easier to just give them this code in class. It, it's totally up to you for whatever you prefer. And then, as you can see, the uh, waiting approval badge is gone, and so now the student is able to get into the course uh, and participate and learn all of the wonderfully awesome things that you have uh, prepared to share with them.